Hello and welcome. To start with, please note, if you decide to perform the alterations I did, you do it at your own risk and no one else can be held responsible for your actions. And this is with regard to any harm to person or property. So you are on your own. In this video, I will take a look inside the Denson Dendac 50. The Dendac 50 is an integrated preamp and DAC. On the inside, I will see what the potential is for substituting mechanical terminals with soldering. The reason for this are the very good results I have received after doing this type of alteration to a pair of XTZ Edge 300 power amplifiers. Now let's have a look inside the Dendac 50. With the cover off, there is not very much to be done on the inside except that I'm going to substitute these four mechanical terminals with soldering's and that's it. With most of the alterations done what remains is to install the rest of the shrink tubes, reassemble the unit and install it into the hi-fi system. With the Dendac fully reassembled and installed into the system the improvement was very surprising and also very solid. It was like removing a heavy curtain. The sound stage became much more spacious and individual instruments are presented in a more favorable way. Also, secondary sounds or background noises are also more present. For example, when a musician is turning a page or resuming a new position before starting a new piece of music. Also, I noticed that after the alteration, I had to reduce the setting of the volume from 145 to 130. And that is normal everyday listening level. Sometimes even 130 is a bit too much. And this is very much in line with what I experienced after altering the Edge 300 power amps. According to MHO, this indicates that the units are more efficient after the alteration. With a piece of equipment that certainly wasn't cheap when new, I think the list price was approximately 3500 euro. I'm a bit surprised that so much of the performance is still hidden inside the unit. From a production point of view, I fully understand the use of mechanical terminals. But from a performance point of view, the mechanical terminals are definitely detrimental. An instrument that really came into life after this alteration is the grand piano. You can definitely hear how the instrument is operated and that its lid is open. And regarding grand pianos, I remember four blokes that were to move a grand piano from an apartment on the fifth floor. Fortunately, the apartment had a balcony and it was decided that the grand piano was going to be hoisted down from the balcony. To start with, everything went well, but suddenly the rope slipped and the grand piano went down. The blokes were absolutely terrified and ran down the stairs to see what had happened to the grand piano. Down on the streets, they were extremely surprised to find a flat minor. Thank you for watching and bye for now.